hi guys uh, so to continue from where we stopped the last time remember that we are trying to look at some issues um, that affect Microsoft Teams because we're trying to troubleshoot issues with Microsoft Teams so if you are new to this channel my name is Joseph I am a Microsoft certified trainer and um, yeah we want to continue and the topic we want to look at today is diepad is missing in teams so for those who don't know what diepad looks like in microsoft teams let me show you how it looks just in a bit um okay so you see this right um if you are enterprise voice enabled i'm going to explain that you would have this in your microsoft teams where you can dial phone numbers and you can call using PSTN public switch telephony network so uh, you can if you compare that to this account you would find out that if you go to calls here right now you are not going to have anything so what this issue is all about is you are looking for die pad in teams and you do not have it and maybe your colleague um, has it and you're trying to find out why or you used to have it and suddenly it disappeared of course this is where you can see it right when you just come here so now let's go to look at the issue itself and what can possibly cause that now diepad is missing in teams now microsoft teams use uh, user can't make outbound call because the diepad is uh, in the call screen in teams is missing this is what i'm reading right so now what is the cause the general cause in the teams client the diepad enables user to access public switch telephony network like i just explained now the diepad is um, available for users with phone system provided by their configured properties now all the following conditions must be met for you to have diepad in teams look at it the first condition is that the user must have the required teams license assigned of course that cannot be negotiated and then you have the user has a teams phone system license assigned this is also compulsory the user has microsoft calling plan or operator connect or is enabled for direct routing now the user has enterprise voice enabled the user is homed online and not sky for business on premise the user has teams calling policy enabled with allowed calling to be true i will explain all of this now for you to have diepad in teams you must first of all be enabled for microsoft teams that's number one then number two is that you should have phone system whether you are using microsoft calling plan you are using operator connect you are using direct routing you must first have phone system license phone system license like you buying a phone right then the user has enterprise voice enabled i'm going to explain this further if you have these two you are supposed to be enterprise voice enabled how do you know if a user is enterprise voice enabled and um, how can you find that out right i'm going to show you that okay so but let's just go on how do you resolve this issue um remote connectivity analyzer and all of those is what you can use then so that we don't um, overflog this theory i'm going to show you some bit of practicals and we're going to come back here to also look at it enterprise voice is showing disabled now let us see um how do you even check if a user's enterprise voice is enabled you go to powershell okay of course this is how to connect to microsoft teams powershell you need to first of all just install the module microsoft teams then you import the module microsoft teams and then you connect i've actually installed i've imported let me just connect and uh, i'm going to pick an account to sign in okay let's say i have a user from this tenant having that issue so let's just wait for that account to sign me in and then we can proceed okay now how do you get to see users attributes 
you just do um, get CS online user so that you just see what I want to pick out from the search on the web usually this is very very helpful for several issues with Microsoft Teams. this is get CS online user identity the CP is this so let's just copy this and let's go to our PowerShell let's just paste it and let's say the user that is having the issue uh, that the email address is what I want to put um, admin set okay let's do this alright so that's the email address so if I pop this now it's going to give me all the attributes of this user okay now what happens is that if you take your time to look at it this word is called enterprise voice enabled uh, if you just go up and then you take your time to check um, you see it here enterprise voice oh, sorry or let me just copy this to let me just copy this to notepad so that we can see it clearly together ctrl c then notepad v okay now let's look at enterprise voice enterprise voice enabled is showing false okay it's showing false so what we have on this description here is telling us that the enterprise voice enabled should be what should be true now for that user right let me see if we try to sign into that account i think i was signed in here as um a user right and i want to troubleshoot the issue if i go to help and support let me just duplicate this um duplicate tab let me just come to help and support show all and then help and support So hold on support help and support that's just taking some time to load let's just wait for it so how you can get to see what's happening for it to direct you to what exactly the issue is you can just come to this place if you have an affected user you say uh, you can type the issue here it will even show you um, die pad missing from teams so you can supply the email address of the user that is affected here let's say that user that does not have um, die pad admin Now let me show you something right so that you can be very clear you look at this user this user is this account right he does not have die pad when you go to his calls there's no die pad available for him but for this other user from another tenant he has die pad available so that you don't uh, get confused what i'm trying to say so this user has die pad and this is the phone number of this user this user has die pad in teams he can call a phone number right but this user and this user is um, this account okay but if you come to this place this is the user that is having the issue the affected user who is not having die pad in teams so you bring the email address of the affected user and type it in here you run a test so it will take some time and then it's going to pop up something like this for you it's going to say enterprise voice is not enabled for this user that is what i'm trying to connect with what we have on this die pad which is showing that enterprise voice is not enabled now for me to enable enterprise voice so that this user can have die pad in teams it must first of all have the phone system license right this is the report now it is saying that enterprise voice is not enabled for the user ensure that phone system license has been enabled on his account 
go to active users and then select this um, select this user in question select license and app give the license to the user right then for direct routing user confirm that the user has license selected to microsoft teams microsoft 365 phone system and sky for business online plan 2 and all of this so if the user is using microsoft calling plan make sure that he has either domestic calling plan or international calling plan and if license are not present navigate to purchase license to get license for this user so in a situation where this user has the required license and it is still showing false for the user and you want to turn it to true that is where this other resolution is going to help let me navigate you to this place where we have the suggested resolution here now look at it it is saying that enterprise voice shows disabled from what we saw it is false if the diag diagnostic result for one of the tools shows that the user isn't enabled for enterprise voice but the user's account shows that it is enabled in teams powershell the tenant administrator must toggle the setting off and back on and update the backend as shown in this so you're going to run this so set here's phone number assignment phone number assignment if this was even showing true for you right if this was even showing true for you and the user still does not have um die pad in teams so you're going to run set cs online set cs phone number assignment identity of the user and then you turn the enterprise voice to false look at it you will turn it to false for the user that is if the user has the required license you turn it to false for the user control c uh you paste it here so you turn it to false and then you wait for some time and then you turn it back to true so at this point within the time of let's say within 22 i mean 22 hours to 24 hours the user should have phone um should have die pad now this is what they are saying just turn it to false and then you turn it to true run this command then direct routing enabled user missing die pad what can you do about that if the diagnostic resolve uh, from one of the top shows that the user isn't configured correctly then what you can do is to um, first of all remove now let's read this together if the diagnostic result from one of the the tool shows that the user isn't configured correctly with the routing policy the tenant administrator must remove the online voice routing policy value first completely and then reassign the voice routing back to the user so what this means is that if this user is a direct routing user that means he's not using microsoft calling plan uh, what you can do is to grant cs is to do grant cs online voice routing policy identity of that user to null means that you are returning this user or removing him from the voice routing policy and then re-enable the voice routing policy for the user and this should resolve the issue now in summary if a user is missing a uh, die pad in teams it's a very common issue so what you can do first of all is to ensure that the user has phone system license assigned to the user and then it has calling plan if it's using microsoft calling plan operator connect or if it's using direct routing you know and then that the user is enterprise voice enabled you have that set yes online phone number assignment then enterprise voice enabled true right and then that the user is even homed online is not negotiable right so if you confirm all of these features and you have issues toggle to uh, false toggle back to true or if it is direct routing user having the issue remove the user from the voice routing policy entirely 
and re-enable voice routing policy for the user this should resolve the issue so i'm going to drop this uh, link on the um, description below i know this is a bit uh, tricky but if you have any question regarding it you can also um, drop your question and i'll be happy to give response to you so if you have not liked the video you may you may need to give it a like and if you've not subscribed to this channel please do as we have a lot still coming up in the future so have a nice day